Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a patient who has left shoulder pain from a recent injury. And as we come down here, we get to the central part of the joint. This is an axial image. We see the rotator cuff here. And on this view, we see the main problem here in the front. They have a problem with the subscapularis tendon. Instead of being really straight and taut, see it's wavy, so it has a loss of the normal um, tensile strength here. And so it is torn from the distal attachment. But these tears can be hard to appreciate, um, even when you look on sagittal images. But on this view, our, one of our clues is that it's just wavy. And the attachment here on the lesser tuberosity, a little bit hard to see. And the other thing we notice is this funny thing underneath it. So what is that thing underneath it? So if we go down, it seems to blend here. But we notice over here, this is the uh, bicipital groove. looks empty. So if we go on up. We follow this up, up, up. It comes right over here to the biceps labral anchor. So this is the biceps tendon that is immediately dislocated. It courses through the anterior shoulder joint and is deep to the subscapularis tendon. So normally, the biceps will be, of course, in the bicepital groove. It goes outside, superficial, to the subscapularis tendon. And the subscapularis tendon will hold it into place. And the subcap also has a little component that goes over the bicepital groove called the transverse ligament. So when that ligament tears and the biceps um, tears, it will allow the biceps to slip underneath it and go down here and be dislocated just like this. And these can be tricky again because the subscapularis, at just at first glance, you say, ah, I can see the subscap looks pretty good. These other ones look pretty good. You can blow right past it if you're not really careful and look on all views and then notice that the biceps tendon is dislocated. And that's it. Thank you very much.